Hey everybody, this is Charlie, the Pennsylvania grain farmer, coming to you from, uh, well, kind of cloudy western Pennsylvania today. It's Tuesday, June the 20th, and uh, I have a couple different reasons for making this video, but uh, first of all, we're coming to you from the Red Shed, and uh, I, on my channel, I tend not to get into politics. I mean, that's everybody's choice what they discuss on their own channel and i respect that but i just tend to stay away from it but you know there uh, i will make this one exception there has been a a lot of talk recently about uh pride flags and everything and uh over this past weekend um i as you can see i put up a, a brand new flag pole here at the uh, corner of the red shed and right now uh I'm flying my, I guess you'd say my two pride flags, you know, first and for, foremost is the American flag and then underneath that the uh, uh, flag representing uh, all of her tractors. So I don't think I uh, probably need to say anything more about that. Now, as far as uh, the main reasons for the video, I wanted to get you caught up as to where we are. Uh, some things have happened uh, after being in a kind of a drought situation for almost a month and getting virtually no rain in the last week and a half we've had four inches so that's really uh helped to make a difference and uh as a result of getting that rain you know uh things have started uh taking off and growing again um and so i was able to get some things done one of which was uh, I already had had my corn sprayed, but I hadn't sprayed the soybeans because it wasn't tall enough. But now the soybeans are big enough and the weeds are getting bad enough that it was time. So uh, uh, I believe it was this past Sunday that I went out and uh, uh, sprayed my 20 acres of soybean. This is my spraying rig. It's a hardy TR300 sprayer and uh, it's pulled by my uh, Oliver 77. I've had that sprayer uh, since uh, January of 2017, and uh, so far it's done a, a really nice job for me. So uh, it's been sitting out here a couple days because I've gotten into something else, and um, uh, I'm just waiting for uh, a day coming up here whenever I'll have time to uh, be able to get that cleaned out and backed into the red shed here uh, until next spring but the uh, the main reason for the video is uh, what I'm going to be working on today which is what I also worked on yesterday and that is uh, getting urea spread on my corn um, whenever I plant the corn of course I fertilize it with uh, triple 19 fertilizer as a, a starter mix Okay, and of course that's been, you know, done and everything, but, you know, after the corn is up and growing, it needs another boost of nitrogen, so what I do is I top dress it with urea, and I spread it on um, with this cone mixer, uh, and I've been doing this, this is probably my fourth year, and, uh, you know, last year I think I put about 100 pounds onto the acre, this year I'm going to uh, try uh, 150 and uh, see how that works doesn't sound like much but um, it can definitely make a difference and I think the corn is about at the right height that uh, we have uh, and I'm, the reason I'm doing it now uh, is because uh, of the way the rains are timed it sounds like we're going to have some decent rains at the end of this week this is Tuesday so I'm trying to get that uh, urea on now so that uh, when those rains come it'll be able to you know dissolve it and take it into the ground because it does take some time once it gets in the ground for the nitrogen to get into a condition where the uh, where the corn can utilize it so hopefully I've have everything timed uh, just about right so uh, I have the urea here uh, in bag form 50 pound bags I'm going to uh, I probably won't show any video of me dumping bags into the cone spreader but I'm going to go get the cone spreader uh, filled up and then we'll uh, get some video of the spreading process out in the field so I'll be back shortly
right, well there you have it. Uh, just got done spreading about uh, four acres. You didn't see it all. I just pretty much showed you, you know, about once around the field, just so you get the idea because I don't want to bore anybody with me. But this, uh, you know, top dressing with urea, I mean, urea is, uh, you know, has an analysis of 46 zero zero it's you know basically just putting nitrogen on but the you know the corn plants really need that uh, and will be here in the upcoming stages of growth so putting this urea on is uh, in my opinion it's well worth the time and the effort and uh, the money and hopefully uh you know god keeps giving us the rain that we need we'll uh, uh we'll see the benefits of that so uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you have subscribed, I appreciate that very much. So uh, for now, this is Charlie, the Pennsylvania Grain Farmer, saying see you next time.